Shining like these diamonds, yeah, diamonds. Yeah, you shining like these diamonds, these diamonds. Princess diamonds on my wrist, they shining on my bitch. She the finest. Good morning, good morning. I actually already ate my breakfast and everything this morning, but then I decided let's start a week in my life. First things first, I'm on my period, hardcore, like cramps. All of that so I'm forcing myself to go to the gym today because I know when I need to rest and honestly I find that working out helps my period symptoms so that's what we're gonna do even if we just go for a run and do like something slight I just want to get in there and do something okay we're dressed we're ready to go honestly all a cute workout outfit really just does the job to get me motivated because now I'm ready I'm trying to get my body right you feel me so let's get into this workout i'm probably not gonna bring y'all to the gym i'm trying to decide if i want to but i don't think i do want to i'm sorry but i probably will another day this week in this vlog but i will let you guys know when i get back what i end up doing let's get this workout in girls and if you're watching this on your phone and you have a treadmill in your apartment complex or whatever I recommend going to watch it while just walking on the treadmill. That's what I've been doing recently when I don't feel like working out. I just go and go for a little walk on, or a walk outside would do too. Just go for a walk while you're like watching your stuff that you like to watch. And that's a great way to get yourself moving for the day. Okay, period. Had a good little workout. I ran a mile and then I did like some sumo squats, some one-legged deadlifts, some little arm little exercises and TMI, I bled through. So my workout was cut a little bit short, but that's just the reality of the situation. So now I'm going to make my little post-workout drink. So first things first, we have our balloon. And then we have our L-glutamine. So I'm only on day four of L-glutamine, so I don't know if you're even able to see results that quickly, but I will say that I'm on my period like I've been saying, like girl, we get it. But I feel like I'm usually a lot more bloated than this. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of the week, but I might be kind of impressed y'all. Of course, I always have my little straw and I'm about to chug this before I get in the shower. So here we go. Alright, so now it's time to get ready because we have a modeling job with Edge. So basically I have a three hour photo shoot with them today. So I always like to make sure that my makeup looks really good. So the photo shoot's not till four, it's only like one something right now. Um, but I just like to really take my time to get ready for shoots because I really want my makeup to look bomb. By the way, let me know if y'all want a like full makeup routine video because I always just show like bits and pieces, but I really feel like I've perfected my makeup routine. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on just that. Okay, the makeup is done and she is eating. The base is looking perfect. I added some little lashes on the ends and then a little dark lip moment. But yeah, the makeup is done. Now it's time to dry my hair. Oh, and I already started eating, so ignore that. But I just made myself a little salad, avocado, cucumber, tomato. Okay, here's my little outfit of the day. The top is from Skims. These parachute pants are from Fashion Nova. And then we have these foam runners on with no socks for whatever reason. Anyways, let's head out and make this money. Shout out to Edge, my favorite brand to work with. Okay, I'm here, y'all. I won't be able to film much because my sister's not here, but I'll show you some of the cute outfits, but I'm about to start shooting. These pants are so cute. Every time I come model for them, I want to go shop at Edge right after. I'm getting tired, y'all. We still have like two more hours. No, because y'all, I am so freaking tired. Like, 
shout out to all the real models out there that really do this shit all day every day because it is hard work i'm literally exhausted it's like 8 30 i'm about to make a yogurt parfait and lay down on my couch and that's all i'm doing for the rest of the day so i might catch back up with y'all later and i might not good morning so i ended up taking my lashes off last night so that's why i look so much different and as you can tell by my voice i just woke up but i'm going out of town in two days so i don't want to do my lashes yet because i want to do them right before i go out of town this morning i have a hair appointment thank god because the roots are getting a little out of control Here's our outfit of the day. This tank top is from Skims. Shorts are from Amazon. And these shoes are my Nike Vomeros. By the way, I'll have these shorts linked in my Amazon storefront, which my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description. But these are like basically Lululemon dupes. So I love that for us. I have them in white and black and they're so comfortable and I wear them literally all the time. Also, last night I ordered a bunch of little cute decorations for my coffee table. So when all that comes in, I will show you guys how I'm redecorating this. But I don't think that everything is going to be here before I go out of town. So they might be in the next video that I post. But I'm really excited. I only spent like $130 and I got a bunch of stuff. And I got some candles and stuff too. And like a new little paper towel holder. But... Basically, I just renewed my lease, so I kind of just want to revamp my apartment. Um, like I mentioned in the last vlog, I'm looking for a new couch. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Not anything too expensive because it's probably only going to last me for like a year, but I just need a more comfortable couch than what I have right now. I'm at home so much. I'm such a homebody, so I just really want to love my apartment again, which I do love my apartment, but... I just want to make it a little more me. I never knew how long I would be staying here, so I feel like I'd never really decorate it for real, but I'm excited. I'm going to make myself some lunch to bring to my hair appointment. Usually I end up ordering something, but I still have some groceries that I want to use up before I go out of town. So we're cutting up this cucumber first. Also, it's just like such a waste of money in my opinion to order food. Like I actually kind of hate doing that. I used to do it all the time at my job. So we have our salad. I'm gonna put some of these in like a little baggie, the white cheddar puffs from Trader Joe's. I love these. And then I'm gonna bring one of these gluten-free cinnamon muffins. These are not healthy whatsoever, but I try to pretend that they are just because they're gluten-free. But these are so freaking good. And y'all already know it's that time of the month. And I have the biggest sweet tooth. And then I'm also going to bring this little pineapple juice from Trader Joe's. So that's it for my little lunch. Let's head to my hair appointment. We have a 45-minute drive. So I'm probably going to listen to like a podcast or a YouTube video. But... At first, I didn't think my roots were that bad, but now I'm like so happy to be getting them done. So I'm going to let y'all 
talk to my hair girl kennedy love her and she's gonna tell y'all exactly what i get done to my hair because i get a lot of questions about it okay we have the booty yeah, yeah. we're gonna talk to kennedy when she comes back and ask her what she did to my hair coming outside to eat my food i look crazy we got the cape on and everything but i'm starving so i'm about to eat my salad Okay, we just trimmed her up. The color is looking perfect. This is Kennedy. Hi guys! Can you tell them what you did to my hair today? Yes, she got a bleach and tone and a global gloss and she got a K18 treatment to make her hair so soft and shiny. Period. <laughs> so she wants to curl it. I'm a little nervous to see how short it's gonna look curled, but I'm just letting her do her thing. So let's see how it looks curled. So good. <laughs> She's looking cute. Right? I like it. It's so cute. Love the it. curls are so good. Come see her, y'all, if you're in Atlanta or <laughs> surrounding Atlanta areas. <laughs> Come see me. Come see her from wherever you're from. Fly in. Book the appointment. That's sexy. I love it. Cute. See. You. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I absolutely love my hair. And now I low key want to go buy a curling wand because I think it looks so cute curled like this. Let me know what y'all think of the little curls. But I think it's time for me to learn. Anyways, I am about to go to Ulta and Barnes and Noble. I. If you guys watch my last vlog, I bought a book and I finished it in one day. So it's time for me to invest in some more books because I'm a little bit of a bookworm now, y'all. Like, can't even lie. So I'm going to get a couple books. I need some setting spray from Ulta and then I also possibly want to get like a root spray for like some volume in my hair. So that's what we're going to do. I really don't feel like going to Ulta because I'm hungry and I want to eat at home. I don't want to stop while I'm out. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to Barnes & Noble. I might hold off on Ulta until tomorrow, but we shall see. Okay, boom, we got the books. I'm so excited to read these, y'all. I'm gonna start tonight and that's kind of why I'm really excited to go home so I can start. I think I'm pushing Ulta to tomorrow because I don't need it right now and I'm so starving and it's still going to take me like 30 more minutes to get home. So I'm about to drive home. Also another reason is because my phone's about to die and I don't have a charger in my car right now. So let's head home and eat and start our book. Okay, y'all, I'm already on chapter four. I've already read like 60 pages and literally like a few months ago I hadn't finished a book since middle school and now I'm like so obsessed with reading this is starting out so good and I'm just so excited for it to like get more juicy and into it if you've read it comment down below and let me know but I had to force myself to stop because I need to do my laundry so I'm about to put away my laundry do my dishes that are in my sink and possibly make dinner if I'm hungry but I just want to make sure I get everything done so then I can just sit down and read without having like a time limit so we're about to do laundry and dishes This is kind of crazy, but, well, crazy for me, but I'm so proud of myself because every single article of clothing that I own, besides what I'm wearing right now, is clean and put away. It feels amazing. Usually I always have like some dirty clothes, you know, but right now every single thing is clean and put away and that is the perfect 
thing to have done before I go out of town for a whole week. So very proud of myself for that. I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to go deep within my soul to find out if I feel like working out today. Um, when I woke up this morning, I wanted to, but it's Friday and I just got my hair done and she looks so good and cute and I don't want to mess her up. That is just an excuse because I'm not even doing anything. So like there's no reason for my hair to look good right now, but I don't think I'm going to end up working out today. That could change later on tonight. But I'm going to Pilates in the morning, so even if I don't, I don't feel bad about it. Tomorrow's Saturday, and I'm going to Pilates, so that's good enough for me. I just know I'm probably not going to work out a lot when I'm out of town. But either way it goes, I think I am still going to drink my L-glutamine because I just feel like I should. So that's what I'm about to do now, and then I'm going to make that and go out and keep reading. Okay, girls, it's time for a skincare routine. I haven't wanted to do my skincare routine on YouTube or even TikTok yet because I had been having some slight skin issues, like just really breakouts. But I want to show it to y'all because I feel like it's gotten a lot better, especially recently since incorporating one specific product, which I'll show you guys. So I'm going to start by just using some micellar water on a little aesthetic wipe just to remove the makeup before I wash it with cleanser and I actually don't like makeup wipes but I do like just doing these little pads with micellar water because I do think you should try to remove as much makeup as you can before going in with a cleanser I like never wear mascara anymore so give me a second to take this off Okay, now I'm going to wash my face. I use the Revision Papaya Enzyme Cleanser. This is like slightly more expensive, I guess you could say. It's like medical grade skincare. Like they sell it in med spas and stuff. So I'm going to be using this. This cleanser is technically kind of like an enzyme exfoliant. So that's why I like it. So yeah, I'm just going to wash my face with this. I actually usually love to use this in the shower and it'll be like the very first thing I do when I get in the shower and then I'll let it sit on my face the whole time I do the rest of my shower because the papaya enzymes just kind of like break down dead skin cells and just makes your face look more glowy and radiant so if I'm not in the shower like sometimes I'll do this and then go like do laundry or like do something that I need to do and just let it sit for a few minutes so I love to do that okay this is important after I finished washing my face, I didn't fully dry it because products have an easier time penetrating into your skin when your skin is damp. So I don't fully dry my face. I leave it slightly damp. And this is the product for me that has really helped to clear up my skin. I've tried so many things and so far this has worked really well. I've only been using this for a few weeks. I don't even know what this brand is. I got it when I went and got a facial. It's PAI and this is the Carbon Star rebalance serum but this is like the most difference i've ever seen from a single product and i know it's from this one because the rest of my skincare routine has been the same for quite a few months so i'm very happy with the results so far of this serum it was a bit more expensive but it has been completely worth it to me Next, I go in with this cream. It's called Win Levy, and I just got this from the dermatologist. I get a lot of like really clogged pores, and it shows up as texture. So that's why I was prescribed to this. So remember, if you have skin issues that just aren't going away, no matter how many products you try, just go to the dermatologist, and they can usually fix it. Next, I go in with my snail mucin. I actually love this stuff. This has really given me like that glass skin look. So I love it. Put it on my neck, put it on my lips. And I try to do all of this pretty quickly because snail mucin works much better on damp skin as well. So I try not to let anything get completely dry up to this point. 
And some days I bring it all the way down to my chest. I'm not gonna put it on my chest because I'm still gonna take a shower later, but then I'm going in with my tretinoin. I think everyone should be using tretinoin if your dermatologist will give it to you. Definitely recommend. Just use a tiny amount and I like to use it after my snail mucin. Just so that it's not as drying. And another tip with the tretinoin is I try to like avoid around my nose and around my lips. And then for moisturizer, I use the La Roche Posay. This is just from Target. I love this. I don't use too much of it. I use like this amount. So that is that for my skincare routine. It's slightly different in the morning. So if I forget to show you guys that tomorrow morning, I'll definitely do it soon. And then I'm just using my Laneige lip mask and that is it for my skincare routine good morning y'all i feel like i just have to show this like this is the least bloated i've ever been on my period and it's also my first week of taking l-glutamine so i have to think that they're related you know so i it's a yes for me because usually i feel so much more bloated than i do right now so yeah, I just took all my vitamins and now I'm about to make breakfast and I'm pretty sure I already told y'all that we have Pilates this morning. I'm sure y'all could have guessed my breakfast, but let's eat this and then finish getting ready for our day. Good morning to my beautiful kitties. Watch how excited they get to go outside, y'all. Well, that was very anticlimactic. I swear they usually run out and get so excited. They're both coming up. They love it out here. All right, let's head to Pilates. I was almost late, so I did not vlog because I needed to get in there on time, girls. But I had the best Pilates class, as y'all already know from my last video last Sunday, they got on to me and said I'm not allowed to record in there. So I didn't record anything in there, but I had a really, really good class. Like it was very much glute focused, which is my personal fave. So it was really good class. I feel really good. I always love the way I feel when I finish a Pilates class. All right, it's kind of dark in here, but I just came to Target because I have to film a Target X Bloom ad for my tiktok so i'm not going to be vlogging for this because i have to put all my energy into making this tiktok and it's like pouring down rain so i really just want to go home so after that i'm going home all right back from target i filmed my little video and i'm gonna do a slight little haul i didn't get a lot of stuff but i want to show you what i did get so first of all it's gonna be fall soon i saw this zip up jacket and I was like, okay, I probably have this. I probably already have a gray zip up. I could probably get it anywhere else. This was $30. Kind of a lot. But what sold me was the thumb holes. I just thought it was so cute. Just a basic gray zip up. Do I regret buying it? No. Is it worth $30? Probably not. But I just know I will wear this a lot. Okay, then I saw this jacket. Do I already have two denim jackets? Yes. Are they anything like this one? No. I just thought that this was so cute. See, it's like just like a collared, like oversized jacket, but it's not like a normal denim jacket. It has a zipper. I just thought it was cool, and I thought it'd be a cute fall outfit to wear with like, I have a denim skirt that I hope is the same color wash, but like imagine it like a denim skirt, a little tiny, crop top under and like some boots i just thought it was giving like cute fall vibes so i got this jacket and then i got two packages in the mail that i just picked up from the mail room i don't even know what one of them is so let's unbox all right i do know what this one is because it's my lululemon jacket that i ordered what is going on am i getting pranked i'm so confused y'all so i got my jacket let me make sure this is the right size yeah I got my jacket, but they also sent me two other things, and this has to be a mistake. Let's open it up and see what they gave us for free. We got Lululemon for free. 
Okay, we have some shorts. Might be giving these to my boyfriend. And then we have some boxers. I'm sure this stuff is not cheap, so I'm a little confused. But Merry Christmas to my boyfriend, I guess. All right, and then we have this. Oh, cute. I'm working with this company and they sent me a purse. The brand is called JWPEI. I've seen it all over Instagram. Okay, cute. Let me take all this like packaging off so we can really get a good look. Okay, here she is. I like it. It's definitely like really good quality. I don't have anything this color. I'm definitely gonna shorten the strap. Let's do that now so we can try her on. Okay, I don't know if I'm just like being dumb right now, but I cannot get these to shorten. I know it obviously can, but when it's shortened as like a shoulder bag with a neutral fit, I think this will be cute. So, so I'm gonna make my little post-workout drink, which today we're going to be having some kombucha. This is the raspberry lemon one. This is my favorite brand of kombucha. I actually really like the hum brand too, but I've never tried this flavor. So going to pour some in here. Cute color too. And I'm just gonna do like half the bottle. I'm gonna save the rest for tomorrow. And then we are going to go in with our L-glutamine. Y'all already know I've been raving about this. And I know I keep saying I'm about to go out of town, but I'm like, I need to bring my L-glutamine out of town with me, so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we're going to figure it out. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want it to be like a chemical reaction, but it kind of is. Oh my God. Is this allowed? I believe this is allowed. Okay. She's calming down. Yum. Okay. I'm gonna drink this and then probably gonna make some Greek yogurt and then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna get to packing. I'm always pretty chaotic when I pack, like I don't do it in any type of aesthetic way. Like I need to try on all the outfits that I bring and all of that good stuff. So I'm not going to be vlogging that process. So that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've been enjoying my vlogs, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I've been posting every single Sunday, so be on the lookout for next Sunday. And if you didn't watch my last video, definitely go watch it. I lived my whole entire day as a Pink Pilates princess, and it was such a fun video to make. So make sure to go watch that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!